Okay, let's look at different ways to uh, collect coins. Uh, some people keep their coins in a coffee jar. Oh, here's one right here. Um, they throw them in a cigar box. But if you want to get serious, you can uh, you know, pick a method. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is a complete set. This is Lincoln Sense. Now I've got these in what's called a, a Whitman album. Whitman produces the darn things. It's an album. You can see the coins on both sides, which is kind of neat. Hey, little plastic slides. You can slide out. Uh, you can take better pictures that way. You can pop your coin out, put another one back in. But a common way for people to collect coins is to build a whole set. Now, when they started making these in 1909, uh, they did them in various mints. Uh, uh, San Francisco, for example, at the start they had uh, uh, some initials on them, and they took the initials off. The next year they made some more. Of course, they changed the date, changed the mint mark accordingly. Here's uh, Denver coming in. Uh, but they collect uh, every coin of the series. Now, this one, this is a... Uh, Oh, uh, an error. It's not really a, a business strike. That's a 1922 plane. But uh, when you collect every single one of these things, uh, it becomes quite impressive. Uh, normally, uh, you know, the newer they are, the better shape they're going to be. These start getting into uh, brilliant uncirculated after a while. Here's another one of those errors. The 1955 double die. That'll set you back 1500 bucks. Uh, they keep on going. We have a design change coming up here. We go from the wheat sense over here to the memorial sense, right? Uh, then we start getting into some proof issues. Uh, they stopped making the proofs for, um, in San Francisco. They started doing them, or they stopped doing it in Philadelphia and started doing it in San Francisco uh, after 68. But this set, for example, will go up to 1995, which is the end of the book. Hmm. But you can start in, just collect the ones you can get out of your pocket change, 1984, 1986, so get the one with a D on it. Uh, you keep going back in time. It's a history lesson of sorts. You know, what happened in 1961? Kennedy was president. What's going on in 1949? Was it Truman? Eisenhower was elected in that year. Uh, but over time, you pick up more of these, you fill up the holes, uh, you upgrade them as you can. And before you know it, you've got a complete set. And then it's an impressive thing. Then you move on to the next item, say buffalo nickels or Indian cents. All kinds of different ways to do it, guys. Good luck.